I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling the love. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Shut up. Shut the front door. Are you ready to rock a boo? I am. I am. Let's I do am. it. Erica, are you ready? Because this is amazing. I'm not. I'm gonna go in for a second. A oh, I got a little bok choy. Okay. Slurp it up. It's all good. <laughs> It's Asian style. There Don't judge me. You probably didn't know our reporter Abby Gibb is also a holistic nutritionist. Yes, we are going to talk about kale, of mm -hmm. course, right? So I've already blended up some of this for you guys. Does so it matter if it's, if it's the green apple or no. whatever you have? No, whichever okay. you have. Now, I like apples and pears, though, because they have a special kind of fiber mm -hmm. that feeds those uh, good probiotics as okay. well. So they work synergistically with the kombucha. Oh, <laughs> Every week, Abby with something new, like, like a thousand hidden talents, that one. What is that all about? Yeah, she says it's actually time to break up with your coffee. What? I know, it's but so But coffee's sad. so nice to me. It's so good <laughs> and warm and tasty, and it's bad. If you at home, by the way, good morning, are watching us with like your third cup of coffee already, you're like, okay, crazy lady, there's no way. Well then, let's be real. Maybe we're gonna bring it down from three cups of coffee to like one cup of coffee. Take okay. her spoon, like get it up in there. The next right. one we've got here is maca powder. This is like your one-two punch. This mm -hmm. and more cortisol means your insulin rise. And as your insulin continues to rise over and over and over again, well then you're going to have insulin resistance and that causes a lot of inflammation in your body. So I am one of your holistic nutritionists here at Fox 5 and you know as it starts to get a little bit cooler, I always want something that's warm and nutritious but then I realize, oh yeah, I live in San Diego and it's kind of bikini season all year long. So these are going to be 15 calorie or less pasta options for you. Look at how beautiful they are. All of this for 15 calories or less. Now, side note, and a very important side note, is that these are the tired girl recipe versions. The, I just got off of work, I'm starving, I'm gonna eat my arm, and I just need to make something in five minutes or less. So these are not, I'm gonna call myself Martha Stewart. You can go to Pinterest for that, right? Okay, so let's talk about what our options are here. The very first one, come in here. I wish you could smell it. Oh, it smells so good. We're talking about Workout Wednesday. How are you doing this morning? I am doing what is called acro yoga. Nathan, what are we looking at here? Can you walk me through some of these poses? Jumping in the start, a little bit further. Right. And now I am in start. We're having, we're having fun here. We are having fun here, all right. So what I want you to do, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram. Um, basically what we're doing is we're gonna make some recipes with kombucha. So we've got Abby Gibb, our very own Fox 5, holistic nutritionist, and we have so much in front of us. But first things first, for people who don't know mm -hmm. what this fun, tasty drink is, kombucha, what is it? Well, for the two of us here that love it so much, yeah. kombucha, I'll show you a little bit here. It's a fermented tea, and it's awesome because it has probiotics in it, which we talk about a lot, and probiotics are so great for you. But here's why you should care during the holiday season. Uh, let's be real, we're probably gonna be eating a lot of food. <laughs> we're and not eat, what we normally do. And not the foods that we would yeah. normally be eating. And all of that's really heavy in your gut. So you wanna be able to bump up your probiotic content. That's gonna help to just digest and uh, hopefully keep us uh, away from that 10 pound gain yeah. during the holidays. That's a key one. So a good one to start. You love the green smoothie. I love the I green do. smoothie. I do, it's just an easy go-to. And something that I want everyone to know is, this is something, if you're a soda drinker, it's got the fizz. Right. So that kinda helps you maybe don't have the soda and replace it, right? Exactly. So why don't you go ahead and throw in what we're gonna do is throw in some spinach I can put in it here. inside yeah okay. I already sort of blended up a little bit for you okay. so throw the spinach in there and then we're just gonna throw in some frozen fruit right. and you add your kombucha as a base and you throw it in there and it's actually got a lot of just naturally occurring sugars as well so without huh. any of the added sugar so it adds that really great sweet flavor that's a very green smoothie. We're not playing around. No, no. I would say for people too, don't you ever think for people who are just trying green smoothies for the first time, do a little less spinach and then add some more oh, in yeah. as you're getting We're used just gonna, to like, it. Progressively, but the two of us, <laughs> this is like our daily thing, right? Look yeah. at that beauty right there. So wow. I'm gonna pour that out. You can sip on that while I talk about the next one. Ms. I Heather. love it. Okay, so we're so moving on to uh, this is a really good this holiday is how treat. Everybody cares about okay. this <laughs> is the healthy holiday booze. All right, we love Moscow mules, but here's two things about Moscow mules: they come with ginger beer, which is why it makes it so good. But that has so much sugar, and then so usually sugar. they add on what? Simple syrup, mm -hmm. something else. Yep. So this one, Miss Heather cannot have, but we're gonna try a different <laughs> version. Usually you wanna be able to add vodka. I did a gluten-free vodka, by the way, in case you're like me and you can't have gluten. Oh, yeah. There is you it go. a potato vodka? It actually is made with corn. Oh, how interesting. And it okay. tastes awesome. So Tito's, by the way. So this one is uh, by Clearly Kombucha. They were able to sponsor this whole thing today. Raspberry ginger. Okay. Smell that little bad boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ginger definitely Just always does, does it, it for me. So all you do is throw in, you know, like about six, eight ounces. Then you would throw in about 
well, depending on how long the night has been, maybe four ounces of booze <laughs> or something like that. And then you just add in your squeeze of lime. And look at that, no added syrups, nothing else. But we're gonna do it for a little virgin mocktail here. Thank from you, my dear. girlfriend, there you go. I appreciate that. I did want to try the ginger one. I've been yeah. having a little bit of Here's, kombucha every once in a cheers. while. I'm gonna have the booze okay. one because it's how I get my morning started. Mm. Mm. I do love the ginger one right? so much. Right, so good. And then the last one here, salad dressing. So this is okay. a great one that when you're going to a lot of like the friends giving parties or stuff, and you've got these like heavy ranches and blue sea, cheese. Yeah. Ooh. And they're really heavy, they sit on there and you wanna be able to eat your salad without feeling so full. So this is another great option. So, and you get that sweetness as well. So I'm gonna show you here, you just take, you wanna go throw this in for me. This is okay. orange juice. I put everything in here? Yep. And What's then, this one? That's already just made a okay. little bit. So you just throw the orange juice in there, a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness, a little bit of mustard. And the maple is, is kind of to your taste. So if you're not yeah. a sweet person, you're more of a savory, then you can always do a little less. Exactly. And then it's also, yeah, that should be about good. And then okay. you can throw in as much of the olive oil as you want. If you're trying to be really clean, then mm -hmm. maybe just like a, a dash. And you throw that in there, mix it up, and then let's throw it onto the salad. Okay. And that's all you have to do. So you guys, it's not that hard. You don't have to necessarily buy your salad dressings. And look, it took Heather and I like five seconds to do it. And okay. It makes you look kind of fancy when you bring your own salad dressing. Right, to a party. and there's all kinds of fun things now. I've been to Bed Bath and Beyond, and you can have like all the little mixers and yeah, keep right? them in your fridge for a little while. Exactly. This is a great idea. There you uh, go. Keep our bellies healthy during the holidays while mm. we're eating some kind of you know cheat food. I love how you're already diving in. I already am. You know me. All right. How if you, you want more me? information for this, um, Abby's information is on fox5sandiego.com. You got to mm. click on the scene on tab to find out more about all her holistic recipes. Raul, there you go. You want to try a green juice? Or is Raul ready for a green I think, juice? I think Raul's ready for a. Moscow Mule. Get over yeah. here. Let's yeah, be bring real, the mule. Raul. Bring the That's mule into the studio. <laughs> right in here. Studio for you. You want so, it right yeah. now? Yeah, I'm ready. Bring it in. Good uh, morning to everyone at home. Yes, we are talking about how you can still eat that burger, but it can be delicious, tasty, and healthy. I have said all year that I am determined to help Raul stay a little more healthy because that man loves some bacon. I'll tell you what, and he loves a burger. So we're gonna do this here. So we're playing this fun game all morning long, and each of the segments, we're going through our meals. So first we did breakfast, now we did lunch, and we're talking about better and best. So if you go out to lunch with your friends and all they have are the burgers, here's what you should first do. Sorry guys, but you gotta take the bun off. Then the bacon's gotta go. Cheese, optional, but you can also throw on some avocado instead. That's gonna give you those great healthy fats but without all of the saturated fat, and you're gonna have those omegas, great skin and hair, it's the things you need. And then the fries, gosh, I love fries. Everybody loves fries, but they gotta go, and instead, you do a salad. We are talking about spaghetti squash. Now, everybody at home, you're like, oh gosh, here we go again, spaghetti right. squash. Right. This lady trying to get us healthy all the time, but you have a new secret of how to make this even better. Right, it's, you know, it's after New Year's. Right. 45 calories a cup. Boom. You split it in half, mm -hmm. you put it in a pan, little water cover with plastic microwave eight minutes that's how you do it and then turn the pan and you get an al dente beautiful so that spaghetti you, squash yeah that's how you get it so that it's not so mushy because i get the mush I mean, i'm not gonna lie i want everyone to be healthy but even i am like this is a little mushy and you could see that it separates beautifully just like a pasta look oh. at this okay oh ma'am that just made my morning yeah, and it's healthy, you know, and it's good for you. Like you said, mm. full of fiber. Full of fiber. Very low in fat. 45 um, calories. It's great. It, uh, you could have a few bowls. No guilt. It's a guiltless pasta. No guilt, Raul. See, I told you we could do this. I was going to get you healthy. I promise. This I year. Know. I'm making it happen. I'm, I'm listening. Gonna... I'm trying. <laughs> you know I'm trying. I'm doing my best. You are doing your best. You can right. I'll give you some of this in a little bit. Yeah, we want to be able to detox and right. cleanse. And we also want to prep our bodies to be able to fight the cold and the flu. And here's one cool thing is MSM powder is fantastic because you're going to be starting to work out probably a little bit more at the start of the year. Okay. And your joints and your body are going to be a little bit more sore than usual. If we add MSM powder, right, yeah. your whole body is going to be able to handle that inflammation exactly. a little bit better. There you go. So let's go ahead and take some of the shots. Which one are you going to sure. do? I'm going to do an all day energy since it's early. Yeah, you do the all day energy. I'm going to do this one because I had kind of a hard workout yeah. yesterday. Here we go. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Bottoms up. Mmm. It's good. Yeah. I know everyone at home is going, there's no way. It's good. But it's good. Yeah. It's I really, love these shots. Exactly. There you go.